Got my Xantrex power box here. I'm just doing some surgery on it. Uh, what had happened was, uh, well, it has this 5 watt solar panel that attaches to it. And uh, I believe what's happened is the, the charging board and logic uh, died on this, this particular unit. It's, it's got a 10 amp hour battery in it. Um, it's got a, it's got your uh, 12 volt socket. Let's see if I can pick it up so you can see it. It's a, let's see, power pack solar, Xantrex. It's got LED lights on the side. It's got your 110 volt plug and USB chargers on it. Anyways, I think the uh, the 5 watt solar panel. Uh, well, the, the, the solar panel works, but the uh, charge controller inside it died, I believe. Um, I haven't tested properly, but it didn't seem to be charging. Anyways, so, so what I did was I decided to bypass it. I decided to wire the solar panel straight to the, the battery terminals. Um, it's 5 watts, so it's not going to do a ton of damage to the, the battery. It's so low uh, uh, output. So... I did wire it straight up, uh, but then what I noticed is that it's got a little flashing light this here, this little LED here that shows when it's taking a charge. So when the sun's on it, this guy flashes blue, uh, which you can't see now because I've got no sun on it, obviously. Um, what was happening is if I left it plugged in directly to the battery, uh, when the sun wasn't uh, pushing power from the solar, power, uh, solar panel to the battery, um, the battery uh, would have more high, the higher voltage so power would start flowing the other way to the solar panel and then at night I'd see this blue light flashing um, which means the solar panel was sucking energy out of the battery because um, um, there was more power in the battery obviously than was in the solar panel so to prevent that I'm gonna put I installed uh, a diode this little guy here so it's just one of these. Now this is a, a 10 amp diode uh, that I got off eBay. I got a whole bag of like a hundred of them. Um, just for, they're good for solar projects and various things that you're doing. Um, so the line is the side that the uh, power is stopped from going into. So if I have power on this end, it's not gonna go, uh, it's not gonna come through to this end, if you know what I mean. So on the positive side I've got the line against the battery so that the battery can't push power through to the solar panel so at night when the sun's not pushing energy through the solar panel um, it doesn't discharge the battery um, just by uh, putting that diode in line there can't really see it but it's in line with the uh, with the positive wire that I've hooked up so it's not ideal to not have a a charge controller on the battery, of course, um, and I do that have that for my other my larger solar systems. Um, but for this little guy, the battery is not 100% anyways. Um, it's getting old, um, so I decided to just wire it straight through and and then just monitor when the panel's on it. So that's just a little idea for how to uh, to make use of diodes. I got them off eBay. Uh, it was, you know, it was probably five bucks for a hundred of these, free shipping or something. I don't recall exactly, but um, they're pretty handy for any uh, solar project that you got going on. Uh, you can get larger and smaller ones. This 10 amp one is a is a good sort of round round number for what I need it for. Um, my individual solar panels, I think, put out about four amps, the 30 watt ones. So yeah, works well.